a new report on a battle between the same Empire Army and Sylvan Elf Army that fought a couple of weeks ago in preparation to this tournament in Linköping, Sweden. It's a dawn assault and spoils of war is the objective. Empire deploys everything first. Bunkering up their artillery on the hill is the mortar and the steam tank holds the very extreme flank. The Sylvan Elves deploy everything counter to the artillery army of the Empire. They vanguard, Kestromise vanguard, Pistolers of the Empire vanguard, Forest Rangers vanguard, and the Pistolers are getting ready to aim and fire their pistols. They'll probably run up close and try the shot from their river position. So after uh, Empire turn one, the Rikers shot down the whole Spearman unit and also uh, killed the, the uh, Druid. So that's. Uh, that also made the uh, archers panic, and the avatar took two wounds from the steam tank. And the forest rangers got a bit uh, whittled down by the mortar. So, a good turn for the empire, and now we're off to Sylvan Elves. The Sylvan Elves advance with what they have left and cast scrying in a bubble there. It looks like they're outmatched by the shooting line, but they're having a go at it anyway. The Empire pushed the Elven side to retreat uh, willfully. But after the tactical retreat in round 3, Empire pushes onwards, rallying with their pistolers and charging the Avatar of Nature with great swordsmen. More archers fall here. Two wounds off of the Avatar of Nature and six great swords fall. Almost all the forest rangers are gone. The shooting power of this empire army is seemingly too much in this instance. After Sylvan Elf turn four, there's only half a bright dried block left. The Sylvan army has been whittled away bit by bit by shooting and magic in combo and was never able to be build up any counter pressure. The Empire is leading in counters, having taken one spoil of war and are after the other. After the dried unit, even with scrying, was not able to survive, the two remaining representatives of the wooded elves, the two matriarchs, take one turn each and run for it in the last round. The two heroes, the bold masters of their own destiny. The losers, in this case. The two last rides fall, and it's a perfect win for Empire. They lost no points, 
and took all the enemy units in six rounds.